Hello YouTube, my name is Andre and I've got a lot of questions recently how I connect my guitar to the Octatrack. There's a million ways you can do it and I show you my way and some alternatives that you can try depending on your budget and the things you have laying around at, at your house, at your studio. I use a Kemper amp that's basically a modeling amp um, and I um, modeled my amp that I use, it's a Fender and now I play through the camper and it's it's really expensive that's a problem it's um, but you can use it at your studio you can use it live so that was um, it is a lifetime decision for me as, as a guitar player so I've got uh, my pedal board and some effects and then I go to the camper and directly from the camper I go into my my audio interface and from there into the Octatrack. You can go directly from the camper into the Octatrack, that's no problem too. Um, but I go the routing through my um, audio interface. It's an iConnect Audio 4 Plus um, running Audio Bus 3. I use the, um, the, the audio interface to also use the microphone that you hear right now. It's also connected, so that's a plus point for the um, for an audio interface. It has some problems with latency, for example. There's um, 128 um, buffer latency. That's a little bit, but you can hear it on the on the headphones. It's you get used to it. So if you have an iPad and um, an audio interface and a camper amp, you're good to go. I think that's the the most advanced. Um, solution you can you can have it's stereo it's a little bit portable so you can carry it around with a little effort it's not too heavy and you've got a lot of options you've got a lot of effects you can uh, use your pedal board too and it sounds great so that's the the most advanced but also the most expensive um, thing you can do I give you a brief example how it sounds I mean, if you know my tutorials, you know how it sounds, but I'll just play some random notes here. So, it's an emulation of a real amp and it sounds very close to an amp. But there are different options. So, I just move some things around and see you in a second. If you do not have a camper lying around, there's another option. If you have a Strymon Big Sky, for example, you can use the um, cap filter that's built into this awesome reverb pedal. It's not cheap, but if you have one laying around, you can use the cap filter. I show you how it sounds uh, without the cap filter. So basically that's the um, the the just the guitar signal through the pedal board. And now I turn the filter on. There's also, that's one thing you can do, you can, from your, if you have your pedal board, there's also some really cool new pedals that emulate a cabin, um, a guitar cabin, cabinet. Um, for example, the Econocrest, you can, you can watch um, some videos, maybe that's your solution. If you already, had, already have a pedal board, you can use something like these pedals to, to emulate the sound of a real a guitar cabinet. Another solution could be a, a handy recorder. So if you have a Zoom H4 or an H4N, they have dedicated guitar effects. So you can use your handy recorder to emulate a guitar. They have proper signals. You can also plug in your microphone. You can use, use the microphones for field recording. So that's 
also a very neat and uh, powerful solution that sounds great. I only have a Zoom H4, so it's pretty old. It doesn't have these dedicated guitar effects, but I still use it for um, some um, field recordings, etc. So now I'm back with um, another option. It's the cheapest option. You don't need anything more than your guitar and a cable. You can plug it in directly to the Octatrack, but there are some drawbacks. One thing is you have to use a through machine to hear it in stereo, because now if I play the guitar, it's only on, on one side. That's because, as far as I know, the Octatrack can't um, route a mono signal uh, to to left and right, so you have to sacrifice uh, a track for a through machine. You do this by um, selecting the through machine, and then in the settings, um, you set the corresponding input. It's in this case it's input C. Where is it? Ah, sorry, it's on the, on the other option input C and D and then you adjust the volume to taste and to hear something on the on a through tech you have to um, put a trick and and start playback without this you won't hear anything so now I hear something you also have to um, adjust the direct monitoring and the game. So you have guitar. It's 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 not perfect, but at least you have a guitar. You you can do it this way. You have to um, in the mixer settings. You have to set the direct to zero and the gain to to as as high as you can get. And then at least you have a usable guitar signal for basic stuff you can you can you can have effects of course on a on the through machine so that's no problem you can have a filter or some some reverb and then for basic stuff it, sh it should work it's, and you can adjust how it sounds with the filter can sample this of course too to another track but you lose one track and uh, it's, it sounds okay but it doesn't sound like like a real amp you know it's but it's okay I think it's for basic stuff it's good to go this is how it sounds As you can tell, it's okay, but it's not it's not perfect. So you can use it that way, but I would recommend something else, try not something else. So I just change my setup and see you in a second. So another option that I use when I play live, if I go somewhere else, I leave when I leave the studio, that's the most portable and also a relatively cheap solution while sounding pretty amazing it's an iPad. If you have an iPad, some people have an iPad, even an iPhone can do this. Uh, um, if you have an iPhone 5, 6, 7, whatever, or um, an iPad, you can have a real great guitar sound. So maybe that's the most common recommendation I can give you. Besides using a real amp, that's one thing I forgot. If you have an amp laying around, 
you can use a microphone and um, uh, something like a recorder or something and then you can plug this into your Octatrack. You just need proper levels. Even if you plug a microphone direct to the Octatrack, I wouldn't recommend that you need a mixer at least. Um, that's something that um, gives enough gain to the microphone or the things that you connect to the Octatrack because the Octatrack only has line line input. It, it needs line input to have it um, to have a proper level. But back to the iPad, if you have an iPad or an iPhone laying around, um, the only thing you need is an um, audio interface for for the um, for the iPad. I have an iConnect Audio 4 Plus. It's it's awesome. I couldn't recommend it more. You can have four four different inputs, and you can connect a microphone and a guitar. It has two so-called high Z inputs. They are specifically for a guitar or bass, and um, three more, uh, two more. So. Uh, at all day it has four inputs and it has phantom power for the um, for the microphone and it has a USB host function that's very cool if you want to connect um, different things that don't have MIDI like for example in Teenage Engineering OP1 you can sync it to the Electron World with the USB host function but back to the to the iPad, I use AudioBus 3. A lot of people use it, I guess, in, in, in the other world. And here's my setup on the on the iPad. Vocal I use Vocal Live for processing my vocals. This, this is how it sounds. Some there are some effects applied, um, a pitch fix and an EQ, a comp, and a reverb. But I don't. It's bypassed right now. And for my guitar effects, I use ToneStack. It's an amazing app. I, I couldn't recommend it more. It's it's something like a pedal board. You know, if you have a real pedal board, it's it's something like the modular world and the synth world. You you have to spend a lot of money, a lot of research, and a lot of cables and connections and. I think it's totally worth it, but you spend way too much money on it. It's it's tough to carry around, and mm, the Tone Stack app there, are others too, emulates something like a pedal board. And I have connected it um, to to my audio bus um, second input. If you bypass the signal, it sounds like this. That's the guitar signal. I mute my, my microphone. So this is the signal without um, the tone stack app, but if I engage it, it sounds like a guitar. You also have pretty amazing effects built into this app. Like reverb, delays, um, a duplicator. I love it, it sounds like this. very lush and big sounding reverb for swells. An octaver. So this is, if you're into my type of music, like ambient, um, swelly, guitar stuff, it's an awesome app. I couldn't recommend it more. That's how I use um, my guitar in a live setup if I want to connect the guitar to the Octatrack. So basically I go to the to my audio interface and I connect Audio 4 Plus. I use Audio Bus and an iPad and um, for vocal processing I, I use Vocal Live for some effects because I, I can't sing very well and for the guitar I use Tone Stack. That's a very cool, very cool solution. And um, this is how it sounds. You can do 
almost anything you can do um, on a pedal board. It's it's reliable. It works live very good. You can even do um, more um, driven driven sounds. Sounds okay. <laughs> I don't use it very often, but it's totally usable with this app. And um, it's portable and it's, compared to other solutions, it's relatively cheap. If you have an iPad, um, you only need an audio interface. And there's a lot of, there are a lot of options around. You just have to check that it has the right connection port, the lightning adapter or the nine pin for the older iPads. And then you can buy um, an, an iOS interface and connect this to the, to the um, Octatrack. There are a thousand th syn synths, for example, on the on the iPad too. So it's a universe and I can recommend it to you to use an iPad. So these are my solutions that I use um, to connect guitar to my Octatrack. I hope this helps to you and um, gives you some inspiration to play guitar to this through this awesome machine. It's sometimes a little fiddly to, to set it up, but once you found uh, your solution, there's never an end, but you, you will remember my words that it's totally worth it, I promise. Thanks for watching.